Welcome back to Get Into It. I, of course, am Tammy Roman, and this is one of my favorite parts of the show because it's where I get to hear from you. So let's see if I can help this woman out. Hey, Tammy, how you doing? So here's my situation. So I was dating this guy long distance for about a year and a half. Um, at first, everything was great, you know, constant telephone calls, you know, visits, things of that nature. Um, towards the end of our relationship, however, um, you know, he just started to, you know, become more distant. Um, the visitations, you know, had stopped um, being more frequent. Um, uh, he is a promoter, so he would always be like, oh, I have an event, I have an event, I have an event, you know, always something. Um, so I then decided to break it off because, you know, I don't have time. Um, I require lots of attention. So therefore it just wasn't working for me. Well, now let's fast forward a year later and now he is trying to come back into my life and he's like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I realized I made a mistake. You're the best thing ever happened to me. There's nobody else like you, blah, 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 you know, all that jazz. But, you know, I'm extremely hesitant, you know, within this last year or so, I've made some extreme changes to my life, you know, I'm, you know, gone through my whole healing process, you know, I have worked on just being more intentional about who I allow in my space and my energy, and I kind of also feel like if you didn't realize I was the one the first time around, um... I don't know if I want to give you a second chance because I am not second choice. I am not a consolation prize. I am the prize. So I want to know, do you think I should give him a chance? Like so far, it's just talk, no action. So that's another big deterrent for me. But, you know, let me know. What do you think? Should I give love a chance again or should I, you know move on to the next. Thanks so much, Tammy. Well, I'm sitting here wondering what advice you need because you gave your damn self the advice you need to hear. Listen, here's the thing, ladies. A lot of times we have our desires of wanting to be in a relationship and we're guided, our decisions are guided by that desire right? What I love about this video that I just need her to recognize is she's not being guided by her desire to have a relationship. She has recognized that she's a, she's, she's cream of the crop, right? She said it herself. So when he circles back, you don't need to be interested in that. You said yourself, I am not second best. I am not a consolation prize. That's actually the advice that I would have given you. I'm wondering why you aren't wasting my time on my screen. There's people out there that really need some help, okay? And it ain't you. Listen, baby girl, and for all of you other ladies out there, you know what you have to offer. You know what value you have and what your worth is. And if somebody is incapable of recognizing that when they approach you or come into your midst the first time, there should be no second chances. We don't have time for that. We don't have time for that as women anymore because we know what we bring to the table. And I want to say this, men sometimes play games. He done got out in these streets, okay? And he saw that he ain't as cute as he thought he was. And he ain't as financially stable as he thought he was. And then he remembered, mm, old gal used to really like me like that. So let me holler at her and see if I still got it. He can get on down the line. And you know most promoters are shady, okay? You know most, I don't know, it's been a couple that I done had to curse out by my bread. You know, they be shady. You don't need to waste time with this. I think that you've got your head on your shoulders. I think that you've come through a lot of, in, done a lot of introspective work and there's no need to do any retrospective actions. I think keep moving forward on the, on the road that you on baby girl and find you somebody who, or Allah don't find nobody that sometimes it comes when we're not looking, let the right person come into your space that is going to recognize what you have to offer, what value there is in you, love you from the minute they lay eyes on you. 
And that's all I got to say about it. That's all I got to say about it because I don't think I ever gave nobody no second chance. You know, as I'm thinking right now, I don't think I ever gave nobody no other than my ex-husband. I gave him a couple chances and then I had to realize that, <laughs> that that was the pure damn fool and I had to get on out of there. But uh, in terms of dating someone, if it didn't work the first time, I get on down the highway. And that's the exact thing that you should do. Now, everybody else out there, because she don't waste my time. She knew what the answer was to that question when she sent it in. If you want some advice on your relationship, your family, because some of y'all families got some drama and you might need a little help navigating through it or a personal issue, please send me a video. Email it to asktammy at foxsoul.tv and I will do my best, okay, to give you this wisdom, this knowledge, and these gems, okay? Ask Tammy, don't forget. Up next, if you or someone you know is always complaining about something, you don't wanna miss today's Power Minute. It's going down right after this. <laughs> 